Techno bubble, techno bubble, techno bubble, techno bubble, techno bubble, techno bubble. <laughs> the techno bubble, techno bubble, techno bubble. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the newest Bray plays. My name is Brayden, of course. Welcome to Mega Man X. My favorite Mega Man game of all time. I love this game. I absolutely do. It's such a good game. It's fantastic. But I do have a little bit of history with this game as well. You see, I've never actually really experienced this game myself until about, say, roughly, I don't know, pushing about a year ago. I've only ever experienced this game and played it through osmosis, guys, like Brain Scratch, SGB, um, Clement, all them. So, it wasn't until I picked up the Legacy X Collect, the X Legacy Collection, about a year ago, that I managed to actually sit down and play this game for myself and see what I was missing. And can I just say, I've, I'm kind of disappointed with myself for not actually playing this game until late 2019 because this game is fantastic I i don't know how often I can say that without coming across as a as a redundant moron but this game does so many good things does so many things right I should say for example, this intro stage, which I believe this was the first Mega Man game to actually to actually include the intro stage, and then Mega Man 7 for the Super Nintendo adopted that practice of, of intro stage, followed by Mega Man 8. So, technically speaking, this is the game that started including intro stages in traditional Mega Man style games. Now, this intro stage does a fantastic job introducing to newcomers and veterans alike what the game is going to be like, how it's structured, all that. It introduces what Mega Man can do, what X, how X moves, interacts, and sort of, yeah, interacts and moves around with the overall environment in the game. So we get our first major boss of the game. We have Boba Fett. Wherever he is. There he is. Hi Boba Fett. So this is Vile. This is the first major boss of the game. Now, the funny thing about Vile is this is an actually unwinnable fight in terms of coding. You can't actually beat Vile, he's got pretty much an infinite amount of health. So, just let him wreck your, wreck your health bar and just move on with your life. <laughs> but now we're introduced to my favorite Mega Man character ever. Zero, I love Zero. We're gonna find out more about Zero later on as we go through the franchise of Mega Man X, well into Mega Man X8, if I de if I decide to go past X5, because X6, but Zero basically tells us we're not we're weak, we're pathetic. But if we eat if we eat our vegetables and drink our milk, we'll grow up to be big and strong just like Zero, and then we'll be able to defeat Vile. But that is the intro stage. Fantastic job introducing you to the overall structure of how X is going to work in terms of gameplay. So this is a password screen. Now, in Mega Man X, there's no traditional way of saving. Ignore what the triangle button says. Back in the 90s, this is how you saved your game. If you have to turn the console off and go to school, you know, 90s school was a thing back then. Yeah, but but if you had to turn the console off and go somewhere, you ha would have to write this password down, come back later in in time, and then 
input this into a password screen and you'll be able to pick up where you last left off. But this is our map screen. We're introduced to this game's take on the robot maskers. These are the Mavericks. We, have, As is traditional Mega Man formula, we have eight Mavericks, eight robot masters, and each individual stage. Now, I do like the map screen in this game because it shows you what kind of the stage is going to be like. So we have Launch Octopus, Chill Penguin, who's going to be our first Maverick of the day. We have Flame Mammoth, Booma Quenga! Love that name. It's one of my favorite names for any Maverick, right beside Duff McWhalen. We have Sting Chameleon, Spark Mandrel, Storm Eagle, and Armored Armadillo. So like I said, Chill Penguin. Yes, that is a classic Mega Man jingle. That is the main boss, the main, not boss, but Maverick Robot Master introductory music to the stage before you before you start playing the stage itself. So that's a nice touch. Keeps uh, the classic Mega Man veteran fans sort of familiar with the game before, well, so they don't alienate the new, the older fans while also bringing in newer fans. I do like that. Now, the reason we're going to Chill Penguin stage first is because I've played this game far too many times than what is me necessarily wanted in the last month. I've probably played this game at least... Oh, let's go about... Oh, in a month? Uh, maybe over the last month? Oh, I don't know. God, 72 times? <laughs> I'm very well practiced for this game. But X does have everything classic Mega Man can do. He can run, he can jump, and he can jump and shoot at the same time. So that's kind of cool. Now, X also has this new ability that classic Mega Man never had. X can tap into his inner Samus Aran, which is actually Irish Gaelic for Brad Aran. <laughs> and X can wall jump. Now, in order to do that, you have to jump at a wall and hold in the direction of the wall. Now, that'll allow X to cling to the wall and slide down it very slowly. While you're descending, if you hit the X button, the jump button again, I'm just using the X button as PS4 controller, you will notice that you can scale the wall. Now, if you keep holding in the direction of that wall, you don't have to do any finagling with the D-pad like Samus has to do in Super Metroid, making X's overall wall cling and his wall jump a lot cleaner and a lot easier to use than Samus's. So this is our first Dr. Light capsule. I'm not going to bother voicing Dr. Light because I can't do a good Elmer Fudd impression. Because that is, that is his canonical voice in my opinion. So there are five light capsules throughout the game. This is one of them. That's why when we came to Chill Penguins first. This increases Mega Man's, well, X's overall movement and his overall abilities. For example, this gives us the dash. Now, that's the reason we came here first. We, I wanted to get this playthrough sped up quite a bit. And you're going to be seeing me do a lot of what is called a dash shot throughout the game. It's where you dash and shoot at the same time. Why? Well, the dash shot does double damage. I don't know if the that rule applies with the charge shot. I know it applies with normal normal power shot. normal The normal buster shot, just this little lemon that X shoots. So you're going to be seeing me do this a lot. <laughs> Dash and dashing and shooting. Oh my! That was embarrassing. So this is a ride armor. <laughs> the ride armor can do everything X can do. It can dash, it can jump, and it can shoot. Well, punch. <laughs> Armor punch! <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe that happened. Anyway, if you hold up at the jump button, X will jump out of the right armor. So we're gonna come up here first and foremost. Because coming up here will actually get us an item later on in the playthrough. <laughs> So these snowball guys kinda suck is they can knock you into a bottomless pit. 
I swear I'm better than... <coughs> I swear I'm better than that. Anyway, this is a boss transition door. You, you'll know when... You'll know when you come up against a boss. So, we're going up against our first Maverick. This is Chill Penguin. Now, Chill Penguin has uh, quite a few attacks up his sleeve. For example, he's got this ball of ice attack, which is fairly easy to avoid as long as you just stay up on the wall until he's done with his ice ball attack. He also has that ice breath attack, which doesn't really do any damage, it just freezes you. But it does give him enough time to use that dash ability of his to actually just dash into you, causing a little bit of damage. Now, Chill Penguin also has this, um, has this dash attack where he does gain invincibility frames. But if you just stay up on the wall, you're gonna avoid most of his attacks. And when he goes up onto his hook, he'll just blow ice statues that he creates with that ice breath into you. But you'll avoid most of his attacks if you just stay up on the walls. And only shoot him when necessary. You'll only take damage from him himself. But for beating Chill Penguin, as is Mega Man tradition, when you beat a boss, you get their weapon. We get Shotgun Ice for beating Chill Penguin. Now, the thing about this demonstration is that it doesn't actually show you another ability of the Shotgun Ice. When you turn around and shoot a wall with the Shotgun Ice, it'll break off into three extra parts, covering more ground with your attack. 